Good afternoon, Coach. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome to HSBN Media Days. Coach, introduce yourself and the players you have here today. I'm Coach Trevor Chang Leung. Uh, to my right is AJ Campy, uh, senior shortstop. Pitcher Braden Thomas to my left, and Tanner uh, Jenkins, uh, starting outfielder. Coach, tell us a little bit about South Plantation baseball for this upcoming season. Uh, this upcoming season, uh, you know, we're we're already uh, a little bit behind with a, a few injuries and some grade issues. Um, so, uh, you know, with the few seniors we have coming back, uh, we got kind of a young team that were, you know, we lost eight, seen, eight or nine seniors last year. So uh, we're not rebuilding, but um, we're a little bit behind expecting these younger guys to uh, kind of step up into bigger roles uh, until we hopefully get the reinforcements back. Coach, you guys finished the season 18 and 7 last year, I believe, and that, that's you know that's a very good record. Um, you said you lost a lot of senior talent and stuff like that. How, how what are the challenges that come with kind of getting these players that have maybe been with you for a while but not everyday guys, you know, to, to rise to the occasion coming into this year? And in, in high school, you, you usually you know you go in trends. Uh, you know, you have a, a large group of seniors, then they leave, and then you know you're hoping your class coming in and, and seasons like last year. Uh, set the way for good classes to come in. Uh, we have a lot of experience because our younger guys have played in bigger roles uh, these past years. So um, they're, you know, they're the leaders now. But, um, you know, like you said, you know, I have some freshmen and, and uh, sophomores already uh, possibly going to play on varsity, and, I, and I'm not used to that. Um, so it, it's a little transition year, but if, if the pieces stay in place and, you know, barring injury and all that, uh, we should be okay. Uh, it's just the depth this year is a little... Uh, compared to past years is not not there right now. Were there any uh, incoming transfers or new impact players that we should know about for the team coming into the season? Uh, Tanner Jenkins here from uh, he, he transferred him from uh, Chaminade and uh, uh, he will make an impact right away. I've, I've coached and and I've been around Tanner and his family for a long time uh, so I know we're getting a good player uh, that'll you know that'll give us a little bolt that we need. Jolt. Tanner, you know, coach just complimented you heavily. You know, what's what's that like coming into the program? Obviously, you know, you're not new to baseball, but you're new to this baseball team. How easy was it for you to gel with the guys? Uh, the transfer was actually it was pretty easy because I've grew up with most of these guys playing travel ball and everything, and I've known them my whole life. So coming here just it felt like home. So I'm really happy that I decided to come here. And we have seniors up here. Yes, oh, yes, sir. So, you know, Coach said, you know, there's the, it's cyclical, and, and, you know, last year's group obviously did a lot. You know, what kind of pressure is on you guys to make this season a success, and how do you deal with that? I feel like we just need to step up, rise to the challenge, and really just, like, understand that we still have people behind us that will help, even though they're younger, but, like, take some of that pressure off them as well. You know what, uh, a lot of people are going to be doubting us this year, especially with the 18-7 and uh, seven record that we had last year, losing nine of our seniors. But uh, I feel like that little chip on your shoulder is uh, something that's going to help us work towards, uh, you know, even a be yeah, an even better record than last year. Coach, you guys made it all the way to the district final last year. I think you guys played St. Thomas, correct? Yes. yes. Uh, so, and then I, I know you guys didn't win that game, but you did make it to regionals because of the new playoff format. So how has that new playoff format kind of changed the way you approach things as a coach and schedule games uh it, it it doesn't change much for me uh you know i like to play anyone and and whomever uh um you know i i'll be honest it doesn't phase me really uh much um i i, I feel like the one thing i miss is that in our district i feel like we get away from playing each other now and uh that to me was part of the fun of uh being in your district because you have those rivalries that you create and i feel like we're losing the rivalries you know, with, with the format now. You talk about rivalries, and I, I know you guys played the, uh, the, I think it's called the Mayor's Cup with Plantation every yes. year. Mm -hmm. uh, how important is it for you guys to have that on your schedule every year, and how seriously, you know, does the community and the, your players take it? It's a, uh, it, it is a nice, uh, it, it is a fun thing um, for, for the community and the schools, and uh, it gives the kids pride um, to, you know, come home with that cup. Um, even, you know, we could all we can be having a great season or a bad season, but it gives the kids uh, something to play up for, because um, there is a, you know, there is a little pride there. We don't want to give up that cup. <laughs> so, players, maybe you want to comment on? I know you weren't here for this last year. Uh, last year, Mayor's Cup, uh, we didn't end up being Plantation, winning the Mayor's Cup again, and you know, always just wanting to bring that home for the school. It's something that we can look forward to, work towards, and you know, 
come out hopefully with a victory again this year. And, and uh, is there a game specifically on the schedule other than the ones that I mentioned that any of you are looking forward to this season? Nova. Nova. Nova? Uh, just we've been known them for a while, so it feels like it's like a battle against like family basically, and they're just like it's just a big rivalry game like everybody's playing up to their best level like one small mistake can change the flow of the game that's who you guys beat in the district semifinal last yeah year, how how intense was that game? that game was oh. intense <laughs> yeah. came down to the bottom of the seventh is, is the team i mean i know you guys graduated a lot but do you guys feel that the team remembers exactly how how big that game was and want to yeah. get back to it again yes yeah i can remember each and every play of that game down to the wire and with the walk-off that we had last year, I'm just really hoping that we can uh, come back again with another victory over the over Nova. It's a fun rivalry. Um, <laughs> you know, everyone knows each other. So, and uh, you know, a lot of respect for Coach Luby over there. Um, but uh, it's it's just, it's a fun thing. And you know, media days today. What you know, were there any highlights for you guys? I know you got to do some IO, I think, in the 60 times and, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I actually I enjoyed media day today. Tan Tanner had a good media day. Uh, <laughs> he uh, he ran the fastest, hit the hardest. Um, a nice, I think he had a six six or six seven, mm -hmm. and uh, hit ninety ninety two ninety two on the uh, Vila there. So I think these two are going to go fight that out later. <laughs> Me being a PO and not really uh, just being in the IO. I think my favorite part of media day was watching Tanner uh, run a sixty and hit ninety two off the tee. It was a little uh, late to the season this year. My favorite part was definitely the IO. Looks really, it looked really clean. Like everybody was doing what they were supposed to. Looks like we're gonna have like a great season just from that. Agreed. And coach, why is it important for you to bring your, your team out here today to participate? Uh, this is great for them. Um, you know, any any uh, publicity is good publicity to me, for especially for the kids. Um, and I think HSBN does a great job trying to trying to get the kids and out there. And you know, the first thing they're on their phones all the time looking at HSBN. So. Uh, this is good for them to get, uh, you know, some notoriety. Excellent. So, Coach, to sum it up, what can we expect from South Notation this season? Um, we definitely have kids that want to work hard and, and are wanting to get better. Um, and, uh, you know, I always try to put a goal in mind for them. And our goal right now is, whether it's big or small, is I want 10 wins. Um, last year I got a little crazy and put 16 on, and, and we pulled it off. So I'm hoping for the same. Thank you again for coming out today. Good luck this season, and we'll see you on the field. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.